Hi guys, all right, it's math time. So you're gonna need your math um, book and your fraction strips. And turn to page 545. Page 545. We're still good. We're gonna work with um, equivalent fractions again. So we're still working with uh, fractions. And this is our last lesson before we get to our test and to review for our test. So we'll have our test next week sometime, okay? We're gonna review this week after we get done with equivalent fractions today. All right, so let's take a look at page 545. Cole brought a submarine sandwich to the picnic. He shared the sandwich equally with three friends. The sandwich was cut into eighths. What are two ways to describe the part of the sandwich each friend ate? All right, well, how many friends are there? So we have Cole and three friends. So four, so there's four friends total. Okay, and this is the submarine pan sandwich. Hang on, let me get my lid off. Okay, and it's broken into eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what you see in your book. Now, we have four people eating the sandwich, not eight. So what does it tell you to do? It says Cole grouped the smaller pieces into twos. Draw circles to show equal groups of two pieces to show what each friend ate. All right, well, let's make our circles. Remember, it tells us to make uh, a circle around two pieces. So let's do that. There's one piece. There's two circles. There's three circles. And there's four circles. So I circled two of the smaller pieces. And now we have, look, one, two, three, four. So this would be for one person, the second person, the third person, the fourth person. Okay, so all four of them are sharing this big, long submarine, which is a hoagie, sandwich. How many eighths did each friend eat? How many eighths did each friend eat? Well, how many are in each circle? One, two. So they each ate two eighths. Okay, two eighths. Then it says one fourth and blank are equivalent fractions since they both name the blank amount of the sandwich. All right, well, let's take one blank at a time, okay? So one fourth and, so if this is one fourth, that's a two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. How many eighths are in the one fourth? Two, we just said that. And one fourth are equivalent, right? So one fourth and two eighths are equivalent fractions since they both name the same amount. Same amount. So these two are the same. Two eighths, one fourth. Okay. So one fourth and two eighths of the sandwich are two ways to describe the part of the sandwich each friend ate. All right, so you should have these answers in here. Um, I don't have my smart board, of course, so you can't. I can't really write on this. So how many eighths did each friend eat? eat? Two eighths. One fourth and two eighths are equivalent fractions since they both name the same amount of the sandwich. So one fourth and two eighths of the sandwich are two ways to describe the part of the sandwich each friend ate. Okay, so did you see that? Here's one friend, there's two friends, three friends, four friends, and the whole sandwich is gone. Everybody ate the whole sandwich. They all shared it. So two eighths is the same as saying one fourth. Okay, so they're the same. They're equivalent. All right, let's hop down to try this. Circle equal groups. Write an equivalent fraction for the shaded part of the whole, okay? So, let me erase this, and I'm gonna draw what they have fairly quickly. It's not perfect, but I'm just trying to do this quick for the sake of video. All right, so this is what they have, okay? Four eighths, equals what? How can we break this to make an equivalent fraction? Well, let's see, I have one, two, three, four. 
One, two, three. I can break this in half, can I? So now I have one part, two parts, one half, and then the second half. So I broke it equally. Remember, you have to break it so that all the parts count. All right. Now look at this. Forget all these little lines. Just look at what we did now. We broke this like this and we made one group and we made two groups. So how many are shaded? One out of how many total groups? Two. So one half is also the same as saying four eighths. Okay. So one half is the same as saying four eighths. Okay, could I divide it differently? Sure, okay. I could have said, let me get my marker. I could have divided it into fourths again, like we did up um, in the top. I just wanted to do it a different way. But if I did fourths, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, okay? So one, two, three, four. How many are shaded? One, two. Two fourths is the same as saying one half or the same as saying four eighths, okay? So either one of those one half or two fourths can go at the bottom in the green box way down here, okay? All right, let's turn the page. All right, let's take a look at the top, in the top box there. Example, model the problem. Heidi ate three-sixths of her fruit bar. Molly ate four-eighths of her fruit bar. Which is the same size? Which girl ate more of, their, of her fruit bar? Well, shade three-sixths of Heidi's fruit bar. So up here at the top, shade three sixths, one six, two six, three six. So shade those in. Then shade in four eighths. One, two, three, four. Four eighths. Is three sixths greater, less than, or equal to four eighths? Well, look, the big rectangle is the same size, the, the fruit bar is the same size. So three sixths is greater than, less than, or equal to one eighth. It's equal, it's, or yeah, sorry, four eighths. It's equal, yeah, three sixths and four eighths are equal. So write equal. So both the girls ate the same amount. They ate the same amount. And you can show that, well, they showed it really well there, but you can also use your strips. So you need eighths and you need sixths. Okay, line them up to the left as close as you can. And so let's look. One, two, three, six comes here. One, two, three, four eighths come here. Do the lines line up? They do, right? Okay, they do. So they are the same. They're equal. They're equivalent. All right, let's go to try this. Try this. All right, these are those tricky ones when they shade in the whole thing and they have multiple ones. These are your fractions greater than one. So let's take a look at the green boxes. So I have this. Okay. I have a green marker somewhere. Let me find it. I thought I did. Well, we'll just go with, we'll go with red instead of green because the other one's blue. All right, so this is shaded, 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 this is shaded. Remember, when we have these types of problems, okay, how many shaded parts do you have? You have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, and then forget this one is here. How many pieces are they divided into? Three, right? So you have six thirds that are in the green shaded part. Okay, so six thirds. And then we have the other one. 
Now I ran out of bar board space, so they're not going to be quite the same size, but you can see that they should be the right size. <laughs> now again, they're not perfect because, well, I'm not perfect. All right, so then you have these two, okay, in blue, okay? If you don't like my drawings, use your book, okay? So we have three, six thirds here. Now, how many shaded parts are there in both of these rectangles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Forget this one is here. How many is in one? One, two, three, four, five, six. So is this the same as this? Yes, they're equal, even though they're fractions greater than one. So six thirds is the same as saying twelve sixths. Now, watch, I'm gonna blow your mind again. Okay, pretend they didn't have the pictures. Pretend I said, okay, six thirds is equal to what sixth? Remember yesterday, was it, or last week? Yes, it was last week. I said to you, whatever you do your, to your numerator, you gotta to do to your denominator and vice versa. Well, I can say, okay, three times what equals six? Three times what equals six? Or ask yourself, what happens to the three so I can get a six? Times two. Well, that means you got to times the numerator by two, and I got 12, okay? So that way you can even think of it in a different way without the pictures being there. All right, let's take a look at number one. Number one, each shape is one whole. So they're telling you that these shapes right here are the same, okay? They're the same size, all right? Use the model to find the equivalent fraction. So we have two-fourths. You can see that one, two is shaded out of fourths. So two-fourths is equal to something halves. Well, how many halves are the same size as two-fourths? One half, so put a one there. Two-fourths is the same as one-half. They're equal. They're equivalent. All right, let's go down to number two. Each shape is one whole. Shade the model to find the equivalent fraction. All right, so let me erase my board and do some drawing. If you think I'm... Whoa, that was scary. If you think I'm rushing, I kind of am because I don't want to run out like... I'll run out of time like I did last time. All right, so we have this shape and we have this shape and this one's broken into fourths which i didn't really just draw very well and this one is broken up into eighths all right so they tell you that this is two fourths already right i gotta find an eighth that is the same as saying two-fourths. Well, if I look there, look at this shape, and look at how much of the eighths should be shaded in. Should be this one and this one, right? So how many eighths are shaded in? One, two, three, four, four eighths. Again, I could ask myself, two, or sorry, four times what's gonna equal eight? times two, right? Two, then I have to multiply by two again, times two is four. So we got it from the shaded part, or we did it by multiplying the denominator and doing the same to the numerator. All right, let's look at number three. Number three. Okay, number three, we have two circles on one side, and then we have two circles on this side, okay? Let me make my shapes. All right, so this is what we have, and all of this is shaded in, all of this is shaded in, and they're telling us that that is 12, 6. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve shaded, and then forget one of the the uh, um 
objects, the, the, the pictures, and just look at one. How many, how many is in that piece? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where my denominator comes in. Equals how many thirds? Okay. Well, this whole circle, this whole circle is shaded in. They're the same sizes. That means all this should be shaded in. So shade all that in. And how many thirds is that? One, two, three, four, five, six are shaded. And then one is just the thirds. That's how you got your denominator. Okay. So I can look at my picture or I can say, oh, what happens to the six to get to a three? Can I multiply? Ooh, no, but can I divide? Yes. So if my denominator on the on the side that I'm going from one to the other is bigger than this denominator, I gotta divide, right? So six divided by two equals three. Whatever I do, the denominator has to happen to the numerator. 12 divided by two equals six. So using my pictures, I can get my six here, or I can use my math skills and get my six. But you've got to remember, whatever you do to the denominator or the numerator has to happen to the other one, okay? All right, number four. Andy swam eight-eighths of a mile in a race. Use the number line to find a fraction that is equivalent to eight-eighths. Well, look at your number line. Here's eight-eighths. Go straight down. What's equivalent? Four-fourths. Right? That's all that one. A four fourths equals one. Eight eighths equals one. So four fourths. It wants a fraction. We can't put one there though. All right, let's hop to page 547. All right. Circle equal groups to find the equivalent fractions. All right, so number five says three sixths is equal to something halves. Well, I have to break it into twos. Okay? So halves. It's going to tell you, got to look at your denominator to tell you what you're breaking it into. So we have six, whoops, we have three, six equals something halves. Well, if you look there, this is shaded. So there's my three sixths and I need to break it into halves. So I got to break it down the middle so that I have two groups. My denominator is going to tell me how many groups I need. So how many groups do I need? One or two, right? And how many are shaded in one of my groups? One, two, three. That's your three. And how many is that in that group? One group. So one of my halves is all shaded in. One of my halves is all shaded in. So one half, okay? I want you to do number six. Do number six. All right, number six. Six sixths equals how many thirds? Well, this one's easy because six sixths is the whole thing, right? It's one. So even if I break this into thirds, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be the whole thing. So it's going to be three thirds, right? All right, let's go to number seven and eight. I want you to pause the video and I want you to do seven and eight. So shade the metal to find the equivalent fraction. All right, set number seven. We have one half, and you should have shaded in two, how many did we break that into? Fourths, and you should have shaded in this part here, which was one, two, three, four eighths. So one half equals two fourths equals four eighths. Number eight. Number eight, so you have four circles, that look like this, okay? And it's telling you that, oops, hang on, we're on this side. We shaded the wrong side. There are four halves and we need to eight, equal eight something. So here are my four halves. So one, two, three, four are shaded. Forget the other one, just look at one of the objects. How many pieces are there? One, two, that gets my denominator. So it's telling me that there are eight of these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then forget about one of the, the objects. Just look at one of the objects. And how many do you have to get your denominator? One, two, three, four. So eight fourths, okay? 
All right, I want you to do nine and 10. Nine and 10, so pause me. All right, let's take a look at number nine. We have eights again. Okay, and we have six eights. So there's your six eighths, and we have to equivalent it to fourths. So we need to figure out fourths. Well, we've already know that we have to circle two eighths to get to my fourths, right? One, two, three, four. How many are shaded in? One, two, three fourths. So six eighths is equal to three fourths. Number 10. All right, number 10 is two sixths. And how many thirds? So I have to break this into thirds. So one, two, three, and how many are shaded? Two, or sorry, one of the thirds, right? This whole one is shaded in one third. All right, number 11, I want you to go ahead and write your fractions here. So name the fraction, one, two out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So two sixths, what would this one be? One out of four, so one fourth. How about here? One out of three, one third. And how about here? Two fourths. And here would be two out of eight, two eighths. Okay. Now, which pairs of fractions are equivalent? So which ones are the same? So look at this piece here. Is this the same as that? Nope. Is this piece that shaded the same as this shaded piece? Yeah. So two sixths equals one third, so, or yeah, so you should have that on your board. So two six, two six equals one third. Okay, so that should be on your paper there. Then look at, so these two are done. Look at this piece here. Is this piece the same as this piece? Nope. Is this piece the same as this piece? Yeah, so one fourth equals two eighths. So that should be written here too. So you should have two sets of fractions there. So two six equals one third. One fourth equals two eighths. So that should be written on that last one, right above number 12. We're gonna skip number 12. All right. All right, let's turn the page. Page 549, page 549. Each shape is one whole. Shade the model to find equivalent fractions. So the first one's done for you. So there's one half. How many six are the same as one half? One, two, three. So three, six. Here's number two. It's showing you three fourths. Then it's showing you what? What could be equivalent? Well, you have to shade in one section, two, three, four, five, six. So it's telling you six out of how many? Eight, so your eight would be here. I want you to do numbers three and four, and I want you to do number five. You do not have to do number six, so skip number six. So number up to number five. And then on the back, we're doing equivalent fractions again. And you can do all the rest. Okay, so send me a picture of 549 and 550. 549 and 550. Remember, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye, guys.